Alright, we might as well record this. We're on snack break. Well, let's, I guess, start the level and then talk as we go. Are you inside the factory? Your mission is to search for clues linking Ripjaw to Subject X. I believe he could be smuggling weapons. Just got in. I don't think they've seen me yet. This place is full of Reptarians. There's definitely something going on here. According to my intel, it's an old factory that the raiders took over and are now using to assemble their vehicles and weapons. If Ripjaw has smuggled illegal tech from Suspect X, I'm sure it'll be here. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Uh, let's see, what are my... And it looks like this is an escalator level. Yeah. Hmm... I suppose you won't know what challenges await you until you actually get there. What challenge? Hey, <laughs> all right. You're beating up for- oh. I am Ripjaw, the warlord of the wasteland, the savior of Reptaria. They're so cute. They remind me of that Yoshi animation where it's like Yoshi riding on, um, or Mario riding on Yoshi. And it's Mario jumping over a gap and then ditching, ditching Yoshi. <laughs> oh no. And it's really cute and really horrifying. And you see like them both kind of going along happily. And then yeah, Mario ditches Yoshi and then uh, it flips Yoshi a pair of birds. Don't be cowards, Reptaria has no room for weaklings. Man, Reptaria is full of weaklings. Oh. Working with Ripjaw's voice all over the place must be the worst. So he essentially has his subjects in a factory. Oh wait, those are ones with... Wrenches. Yeah, they have wrenches, but are those their eyes? Yeah, okay. They just have white eyebrows. Or maybe masks? I can't tell. Hmm. I guess I could probably just reach it and bash off of it now that I'm thinking about it. Oh. Yeah. That'd be a way to hook shot up. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I had the range for it. Oh. Yep. And because it is a factory and it seems like they're smelting things in the magma of sorts, but it wouldn't be magma. Yeah, why are they? What would you call Why are they smelting down wooden boxes? <laughs> What would you call the metal in a forge? Do they sometimes just call it smelt? Or that's molten metal. Well, I suppose that would be <laughs> Did the wrench metal. guy just wrench his allies? He did. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, now that looks <gasps> like a reptarian worthy of not being called a weakling. Mm-hmm. And is that a weird pendant or is it a lock around his neck? Probably a lock. Hard to say exactly. Okay, is there Are you listening to the music in the background? Du, 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 music in this game is pretty decent. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So we were talking about movies. And horror movies very specifically. I really... Today we build, tonight we raid, tomorrow we feast. I really wish these, like, little lizard guys looked a little bit harder. They're just a little too cutesy for me. <laughs> I know they're adorable. It really would be like if a bunch of Yoshis belonged to a kind of... Uh, if suddenly you, you interspersed Yoshis... factories. Yoshis into, uh, Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> under general dinosaur face. Uh, let's see. Oh, the, the giant smelter things are called crucibles. Oh. Shall. Interesting. Uh, anyway, so we were talking about horror movies. And I I really want to see a horror movie someday where it's three parts. Uh, or maybe three seasons of a show or something like that. Where the very set beginning, middle, and an end. And it's... The first movie is a basic sla slasher fic. You got, you've got your kind of people are initially assailed by whatever the monster force is, etc. 
people survive. And then the second one, you wanted it to be about yeah. how they manage to, to do so or to how humanity lives. It is, is like post-apocalyptic horror? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, probably. And, and then the third movie is actually overcoming it, banding together and overcoming it because you can't just have survival, 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 survival. There has to be a point where they say enough is enough and they find a means to overcome it or perish trying. Yeah, because, like, one of the reasons why I can't get into Walking Dead, for example, is because there's there's not really a payoff. It's just going to suck for them forever. Mm -hmm. And you're not, you know, you're likely never going to see any kind of, like, satisfying and... Uh, it's just going to be until all of the cast is dead or there's some kind of, like... And there's no threats immediately around us, but there's plenty of zombies, and it's like, uh, alright. Um, and, like, I guess this is kind of what World War Z is supposed to be. Like, the real World War Z is supposed to be... Aha. Yeah, because I, I very rarely seemed seen a series where the cure is found or they have found a way to destroy whatever it is at its source. Hilariously, I think that actually was also at the end of the World War Z movie. Because like at the end of it, it was straight up just like, yeah, we uh we found the cure. We made it. Now we just have to not die long enough to cure everyone. Didn't the dude have to inject himself with it or something? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't the cure. It was like a virulent strain that hadn't been oh, tested or something, there's right? another dude. Whoa! Sonic the... Sonic the Lizhog. Yeah, and look at the pauldrons this guy's wearing. And he has an exhaust on his tail. Ooh, you better watch out. Good opportunity to heal. To heal? Yeah, especially because that guy can't seem to actually attack you. Yep. Oh, it's a three-wave run. Ah, dang it. Whatever. Get out of here. So they said that this is a world where dinosaurs never went extinct. They attained some kind of technological prowess, but that the world was becoming uninhabitable anyway. And that they were currently pilfering other worlds and essentially being pirates. Yeah. Well, effectively, they had a cataclysm uh, some amount of time ago. And now they've been reduced to ruin it, raiding and whatever. Fear and strength are our allies. We will use our jaws to rip the weak apart. This rip jaw has such a headache. Oh, I see. So it wants you to transfer that energy source over to the other one, again. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's terribly hard so far. This is the first level of the... of the series of no, challenges No, that is ahead. true. This is to introduce you to the mechanics I guess of I'm just afraid world. of round two of... of Arcade Horror Edition. <laughs> I... And, you know, I'm kind of proud that I managed to complete all of those those mini-games. Yeah, I, with the exception of one, didn't you get the high score for all of them? Yep. Took some effort on them. Ow. I really like all the effort they put into the recolors. Yeah. And, like, the armor bits that they've added to some, and... Yeah, the Reptarians by far seem to be... It's interesting. I think the level that had the most amount of love was uh, the f the fun Thunder Dome. Mm -hmm. uh, the level that they had the best enemy design. I, the ninjas were pretty cool. It is by my hand you will rise from this wasteland. Follow me, and I will lead you to conquer better worlds. Ripjaw sounds as if he knows about the other Earths, even if Reptaria lacks the technology. Probably the portal technology. Unfortunately, those go by so swiftly. Yep. Also, good night, Moose and or Joe. Good night. Thanks for dropping by. 
for those of you do that don't know, they are lovely people. I think they mostly just do Twitch. I think, uh, Joe does Digimon and Tamagotchis and stuff. But I'm just surprised there's still a market for that. I've noticed Tamagotchis at the stores lately. I never had a real Tamagotchi. I had one of those ones that they had in McDonald's Happy Meals. That just I had a real a one, stagnant but image. compared to the... Compared to the, uh... The, like, Digimon Tamagotchi equivalents, they were... Like, those were so much better, I'd never even bothered. Mm-hmm. Well, also, you probably had a connection to Digimon as opposed to... Not really, actually. I, I bought the toy first. Oh, and, really? and so I was really, really psyched when the TV show came out and was awesome. Hey, the tape stopped. What now? Just play it back from the beginning. Wait. Gotcha. Wait, they just... I am Ripjaw. Blah, 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 blah. Save for a Ripteria. So is it possible that he's dead? He's not even alive anymore? Or just not here? Or not here. They just need to always have him ever present. Oh, right. I mean, it could be one of those that Ripjaw just straight up doesn't exist. That too. I've seen that in a number of science fiction what series. What is that? Where there's a deity or a king or some kind of heroic figure that everyone's supposed to look up to or obey. I mean, it's the Wizard and, of Oz. Yeah. No, that's true. And it's really just a glorified figurehead for whatever corrupt politicians or whatever kind of nefarious faction there is that, that currently controls the world. Oh, crystal. I should open that door, but also the door below us? Hopefully. Nope, nope. Nope. I have an idea. I think I know where it is. I bet it's that one. That completely... Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Oh no. That's fine. We. Okay, well you've got three of nine. That's a good ratio for the time being. Yep. I do wish... Nah, I don't know. I do like the moon and the rocks in the background. I haven't really looked at them. That's a nice moon, actually. And notice how there's the floating rocks, too. Yeah. It, it's such an impress impressive thing in fantasy and sci-fi. Floating rocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just these floating land masses. Yeah, I didn't care much for the plot of uh, James Cameron's Avatar. But, but I was like the really the into the like concept art, the creatures. The visual design and the environment, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. How these vertical conveyor belts? Who designed this place? <laughs> nice observation, Zara. Yep. So he's saying that Reptaria has no place is no place for weaklings. Well, he already said that. Yep. Let's see, is that just a chair? Mm -hmm. I guess it's probably for a vehicle. The zone is well protected. If they have any smug muggle the smuggled equip equipment, I bet it I bet it's here. I bet it's here, of course. Fumbling on some things because I know that they're gonna be going by fast and you have to read them fast. Uh. Someone in chat's like, wait until you got a seven out of nine. Seven of nine. I really like Star Trek Voyager. I thought that was a good series. She's coming. Don't let her get to the goods. Hmm. I wonder what they've got back here. Uh. Wave battles. I'm personally partial for the original series, but that's because that's what I grew up with. And then... I never got the opportunity to see Next Generation with everyone else. But then, I suppose it was on television for so many years, though. Like, they would, they would definitely roll reruns of Next Generation. 
And I never saw Deep Space Nine either. My, I think my dad picked up the DVDs for Voyager and that's how I saw them. Never really bothered with Enterprise. I... Oh. Oh, those are electrified. And I know that you were never a fan of Star Trek because you thought it was a lot of talk. You, he's more of a, an action kind of guy. Yes and no. Well then, what do you find lacking about Star Trek? Um... I'm particularly sensitive, I guess, to... Uh... Episodic things, I guess? Oh, so you wish that there were just overarching stories as opposed to... Yeah. Uh... Them reaching a planet, discovering some kind of ill has befallen the local populace, negotiating with the aliens, discovering the true nature of the evil that's affecting them, blah 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 blah. You learn a little bit more about one of the cast of characters, there's some character building, and then they go home after solving the issue. That kind of thing. That's pretty much the majority of Star Trek episodes in a nutshell. Yeah. But they did start to have character building and I think the problem is like start recurring themes. I give a series about a season. If I can. Sometimes they grow on me, sometimes I'm like, eh. Like, um What's a good example? I mean Lost. Like the first season was interesting, but then after that I was just like, eh. <laughs> you know, I give up. Um Star Trek they started with all the stuff about Wesley Crusher. And, mm -hmm. like, a lot of the characters hadn't grown in their own. Like, it wasn't until Riker grew his beard that Star Trek got good. But at that point, <laughs> I was... Eh. You mean, yeah, your opinion of the next generation stuff. And yeah. so it's like, I don't need a show about action. I mean, I, I rather enjoyed Babylon 5. The problem is, like... Star Trek was almost always self-contained episodes... They weren't that long and too loud. Mm -hmm. uh, they weren't. They weren't that long, and they were. How do I even describe it? It was cyclical. You know, the solutions were almost always the same, and like I didn't mind it so much in Digimon, which did end up being episodic, but it felt like it was building towards something. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think a lot of this all comes from just the Pokemon show, which I just couldn't stand. The like, even as a kid. Too much, like, secondhand cringe and way too little, like, progress on anything. I mean, the fact that he's still 10 is... <laughs> ah. Oh, that was it. Oh, wow. I missed a boatload in the beginning. Ooh. This crate definitely isn't Reptarian. I wonder what's inside. Finally! Uh, look. Oh, it does have a face. Do you see that? Yeah. Those little slits are its eyes, and then it yep. has the nose I know, I and see the it. mouth. Whoa! It talks! I am... I am Unit 44LGA, on artificial intelligence. I've been here alone for weeks, with no one to talk to. Now, do you have the password? I'm afraid I don't. Why would a box need an artificial intelligence? Well, obviously to make sure no one opens me without a password. What are you going to use? A key? Any dimwit could lose a key. Ah. I imagine this system works wonders with smart people like Ripjaw and his gang. Don't get me started. Some renegade ran away with the password and now they can't open me. I've been alone here for a while now. I should have probably used a little bit more sarcasm with the smart people like Ripjaw and his gang. <laughs> so... What's inside you that's so valuable? Well, obviously I have all the- Wait, no. Not gonna tell you. You don't have the password, so you don't get to hear anything other than my silence. Hmm. You're not from Reptaria, are you? I bet you're connected to whatever Ripjaw is smuggling with Suspect X. I shouldn't tell you that. You'll only get silence from me. I'm the quietest crate you'll ever find. See? Utter silence. I'll take you to HQ. 
We'll figure out you out there, sassy crate. That sound okay? Sassy crate. <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever. If I had shoulders, I'd be shrugging them. You have no password? You're not getting anything from me. Oh. <gasps> oh no. You again. Are you following me? You are part of my plan to destroy Rift in the Smiling Mask. Can't you just leave us alone? What has Rift done to you, Zara? Rift restricts everyone's freedom with their own stupid regulations. I'm doing the right thing here. You know those regulations exist for a reason. It can be really dangerous otherwise, like bringing viruses around, or weapons, or trafficking. Technology, culture, medicine, ideas. Really dangerous indeed. You should be proud of stopping those from spreading. That's not it, is it? It's not that's not the real reason why you don't want you want to destroy Rift. It's something more personal. I I know you. Huh. Huh. Rift <laughs> destroyed my earth. What? That's impossible. It's the truth. I saw it with my own eyes. The Rift uniform and the smiling mask. An enormous hole was devouring everything. Everything! If I hadn't escaped through the portal, they had opened to bring in that machine. What machine? I overheard that smiling mask. What that smiling mask said about the prototype. Only a prototype. And billions lost. That's what Rift does. They hurt people. Destroy worlds that don't please them. No one is safe from their destruction. That can't be true. I've been at Rift for years. I've never even heard of this. Rift doesn't destroy worlds. <laughs> Tell that to my parents. And to my friends. I guess you don't even know my friends. How old were you when you left home for Rift? My parents, my friends, they're gone forever. And I will have my revenge. Our next meeting will be our last. Impossible. Suspect X must have been wearing a Rift uniform, but that's it. Looks like Rogue Zara's, or Zara, sorry. It's definitely a key part of all this. A weapon capable of destroying an Earth? Is that what Suspect X stole the Meta Catalyst for? I have to figure out who Suspect X is before it's too late. I feel like we should see like more agents just coming and going. Because mm -hmm. the society can't be that small. No one to talk to there. Oh, you need to find someone who can unlock a crate, right? Alternatively, the crate is just a case file. No. But there's also only two. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Sassy Crate. Hi, Sassy Crate. Nope. No password, no deal. And tell that cat girl to stop messing with me. Stop the cat puns, please. I'll be back when I have the password. Yeah. So maybe you need the password from the second level? Oh. Oh. I was walking by and noticed you talking to Val earlier. Val? Valerie Wiseheart. I guess she's so formal how everyone calls her by her last name, right? True. Sorry I didn't realize. Let me guess, talking about the old times. She's really fond of those days and really misses going out on adventures. Did she tell you the one time when HQ, the HQ core overheated? That thing produces so much energy we had to bring coolant from our four different frozen worlds. <laughs> she did talk about that one in just 24 hours, right? Yeah, she does talk a lot about when she was younger. 
I wish she was happier with the present. She misses being able to go out on missions. I was great at whatever she does. She helped me through some rough times. I can see both of you are good friends, even if you no longer work as partners. Yes, you could sh say she's my best friend here in Rift, but we're always so busy, we have so little time to chat. I apologize, Zara. I'm just rambling at this point, and you're probably busy too. So, yep. chances are not much. Still gonna check. It'd be nice if there was like a, a like, hey, so and so wanted to talk to you, like a little like beeper that'd be like, yeah, this person wants to say a thing. Oh, but people like to be approached. No, it's true. A lot of walking. Not so bad. Mm hmm. Well, it looks like you have the prisoners in the facility. Nope. Pretty nope. quiet. We did get the gossip achievement earlier, so I wouldn't be surprised. 